Welcome guys, amateur angler here. I'm with my daughter Amy and today we're going to go foraging. Before we get down there, just quickly want to show you uh, these weights. So I know Johnny B wanted some of these weights. These are all extra. These are for pots and I gave him six and in return, look what he gave me. He's an absolute ledge. He made this foraging hook inspired by the almighty smash fishing great channel so check that channel out i'll leave a link here but he's left the gauge that big gap there is 140 millimeters so that's for brown crab and he's done 90 for a lobster gauge there but quality well done mate he's made that i'm well excited to use that so we're gonna get down there and hopefully find something we're also gonna take some of these pots down and we're gonna leave them out so we're going to find some bait down there, some crabs, um, some limpets, we're going to put them in there and spider season's coming up so we might get some spiders, might get some lobsters, so we'll see you down the beach. Legends. Speaking of legends, my brother Lee Robert phoned me up and he said he's got a couple of um, life jackets that he's found in his shed and more importantly, some waders, so he said I can have them. What a ledge, cheers bro. made it down the beach it's a little bit windy so i've got you hidden behind the rock so hopefully not too much wind noise for you we've got our wellies on we've got our hooks we've chosen a a lobster pot that we're going to leave down here all summer see what we get and amy has found what's that from Cuttle. cuttlefish yeah. amy's found a shell. Found a shell i think that's a dog whelk amy i think that's what's called a a dog whelk shell all right, let's get going. It's actually Craig Goopolo's idea. So well done, Goops. He said on a low tide, on the spring tide, come down, chuck your crab pot out, and then two weeks later, go and collect it, see what's in there. So cheers, buddy. We're gonna try that. Try the Goops method, yeah? Let's go. Oh, we're absolutely miles out. And uh, Amy wants to have a look, look underneath some rocks. And we have said, what if you turn over? you've got to put back. I did put it back. There's one of those dog whelks, Amy. Oh, I saw a crab. Oh, I think that's a sea, sea slug. You saw a crab, did you? Yeah, I see it. Then you need this one. Oh, go on then. Where's that crab? Yeah. Oh yeah, a picross crab. Well done, Amy. Put it back. Yeah, gently. Don't want to crush him. Just gonna have a quick look for some little crabs for some bait and some limpets. That's a winkle, that one. Oh. That's a that's a winkle, and uh, my gran used to eat winkles. And I'm gonna try some one day. All right, Amy thinks there might be something underneath this rock here. Crabs. Oh yeah, a couple of crabs. We use it as bait. And there's just a couple of limpets here that we're just gonna smash off with a rock and use as bait as well. Yeah, these are limpets. They're really hard, they stick to the rocks really hard. You have to give them a good old bash. But you can use that as bait. Oh, we're here. We think we found a good rock to tie our rope against and we'll chuck our pot down there. we will just got to bait it up. But uh, yeah, hopefully, Hopefully we get something. Here's our bait. We've got some limpets. 
that's sticking together. We've got some crabs in there that we've dispatched already. We'll put them in our bait sock here and tuck it in. Pretty windy, eh, Amy? Yeah. Amy was asking what this was, and that's a razor clam shell. So I'm going to try and catch one of these one day and eat them. Here's our bait, our dispatch crabs. We'll pop it in here. Okay, let's give this a go. Okay, it's two o'clock, so that tide's going to start coming up. Always make sure you know your tide. I've got my daughter with me today, so no chances, no risk today. She just wants to check out this rock pool that she's found, and uh, we'll see what it finds. It's an actual ormoon tide. We've got a little ormoon there, but it's far too small. But nice to see, though. We'll check out the rest of this bed. Yeah, it's a quick look, a bit of fun, just checking it out. We're gonna make our way back in now. I'm just gonna see if there's any lobster holes as we go. So, you see anything good, we'll let you know. So what you wanna do, Amy, is instead of putting your hook in and going like that, I'm just going gent gently, and if anything bites, then you know it's in there. Try that. That's it, nice and gentle. Instead of them biting your finger, they can bite that bit of metal. Anything in there? Don't think so. No? Okay, let's move on. There you go, a bit of rubbish. Pick that up. Stick it in our pocket. Okay, folks, that's us done for uh, this little session. Found a little clam shell. Amy wants it in the pocket. She's getting cold, so I've given her my coat. Kids, always listen to your parents. Bring a coat when it's uh, windy or raining anywhere. No Just listen to your parents. Me. <laughs> no one told me to bring my coat. No? No. Okay, kids, think for yourself as well. It's a tough life out there in this world. So sometimes you have to think for yourself. But anyway, that was good fun, wasn't it? Did you enjoy that? Yeah, yeah. so we've got the pot out. I'll bring another one down, possibly with TJ, and then we'll check that one for lobsters. And uh, we'll just keep going from there. Keep growing, baby.